Welcome in my ASVAB party people. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And we're looking at money word problems here. So, I mean in general, word problems, they're not the best, right? You know, it's kind of uh, difficult to understand what the question's asking you to find. Then you have to sort through the information, make a plan, calculate quickly. You gotta do all of that within two minutes to really feel like you're confident and successful. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna break this down step by step, show you exactly how to look at any word problem, and again, handle it with a sense of calm. You know, you don't want to be, you know, too excited. You don't want to be freaking out or anxious. We really, ideally, want to be able to look at a problem and know exactly what to do. So before I get started here, remember, tonight we do have a class from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be going over money word problems in its entirety, going through the notes, going through all of the strategies, and getting tons of practice. So you can join us tonight with that link right over there. It's part of my full ASVAB program. I do host a class once a week for free and then plenty more throughout the week that are part of my program. So if you want to be in a program that supports you all the way until you pass, then this is going to be it for you. Allow me to go ahead and show you over here. This is everything the program comes with. And if you want to learn more about it, you can shoot me a text. There's my number right there. So look, pretty much long story short, the program gives you all the classes, all the recordings so you can go ahead and watch even if you can't make it. And you're going to get thousands of extra practice problems with video solutions for math and English. I got general science in there as well. And then you can text me whenever you need help. So basically, it's a complete support system to make sure that you can lower your anxiety, raise your score confidently, and get the job that you want. But enough of that. Again, go ahead and text me if you want to learn more about that. I'm more than happy to tell you about it. But let's go ahead and tackle this problem. So here we go. The problem reads, how much would you owe a taxi driver for a 14 and a half mile trip if it costs $20 plus $3 for each additional mile after 10 miles. So I can bet right now that a lot of us may be looking at this like, what, <laughs> right? So let's break it down nice and easy. Step number one, what are we being asked to figure out? What do we want to find at the end of the day? What we wanna find is how much would you owe? Right there, how much would you owe? So charge, money, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for money, sounds great. So the cost, of okay what the trip now we're told that this trip is 14 and a half miles so i'll just say 14.5 you can also say 14 and a half like this but they mean the same thing but look at what i'm doing here i'm not going to focus on all the information until i know what it means first off i want to know how much i would owe so the charge how much would it cost and then we know that it's a trip of 14.5 miles all right great now, where's the money involved? Okay, let's go ahead and take the next step and understand where the money is gonna lie here. So, here we go. I'm gonna grab my red pen and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight some things here. So it says $20 plus $3 for each additional mile after 10 miles. So, what do I get from that? What I got from that is first 10 miles, right over here, my first 10 miles, that's $20. Perfect. Then what happens after that? So the first 10 miles is 20 bucks. And then it says $3 for each mile after 10 miles. So after 10 miles, right there, after 10 miles, I'm paying $3 per mile. All right. Sounds good. So what do we do now? Well, we know that we have a trip going of again. 14 and a half miles. So how can we break down 14 and a half into this problem? Well, first of all, is 14 and a half at least 10 miles? Yeah, it is 10 miles. And so look at this. I can go ahead and split up the 14 and a half miles. I can split that up into 10 miles and four and a half miles. You see what I did there? I did that because again, the first 10 miles, boom, that's 20 bucks. So I will be paying $20. And then what about the rest? $3 per mile. $3 per mile. So the word per, what does that mean again? Well, the word per means that you're going to be multiplying or dividing. It depends. But in this case, we'll be multiplying because it says $3 per mile. So the number of miles that we have will multiply by three. Now, if it said $3 per mile and I had dollars, that'd be different because I'd divide to find miles. So that's neither here nor there. We'll talk more about the word per in another video, but here we would be multiplying. 
So we have an extra four and a half miles here. So what we're gonna do is gonna count that toward here. So we'll say right here, we have 4.5 extra miles. So we'll multiply the three times four and a half and we'll add it with the 20 and we're all good. Let's go ahead and get to it here. So we'll do 4.5, I'll just zoom in over here. 4.5 multiplied by the three mile, or $3 per mile. Let's get to it here. Four or five times three is gonna be 15. Four times three is 12. Add the one is 13. Now earlier, notice how we have that one decimal place. We'll bring that one decimal back and that's $13.50 extra. Okay, what do we do now? Are we done? 13 and a half, is that, is that it? No, not at all. Just think about it like this. What we have right now is $13.50 and $20. That's how much we got charged. $20 for the first 10 miles and $13.50 for the extra. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add that together. 20 plus 13.50 gives us $33.50 total. That's the total that I'll be charged for the trip, for the 14 and a half mile trip, giving my answer choice C as the correct answer. And so with that said, my part of people remember, what this is all about is your ability to handle word problems is really gonna dictate the score that you get. So don't hold back. You know, we wanna go ahead and pass. We wanna lower that anxiety. We wanna make sure that we know that we're studying the right topics with the right mentor and the right guidance. So if you're interested in the program, just go ahead and shoot me a text. Go ahead right there, shoot me a text or click the link that you're gonna see in the description of this video. Find it, watch the video on how it works so you can see exactly how this is gonna help you pass and help you understand everything you need to do. So again, I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. Always proud to be so. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to help. I'll see you in the next video or I'll see you in tonight's class. See ya.